Welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence and today I'm going to show you how to make a London particular soup. So as I show you how, please sit back, relax with a cup of tea in hand, putting your feet up to and enjoy this episode. And don't forget to subscribe. The City of London, known by many around the world for its tourist hotspots, famous weather, tube system and entertainment destinations. With this in mind, in addition to our fish and chips episode, we'll be sharing the recipe for another delicious dish conceived in the UK's capital. This, my dear viewers, is a bowl of London particular, a vegetable and yellow split pea soup crowned with bronze shards of crispy bacon. Step by step, we'll be guiding you through the making of this satisfying soup with a session of tasting at the end just to inspire you to give this recipe a try. So now, with the introductions made and your interest peaking, please allow me to introduce the ingredients to you. For today's Brilliantly British London particular soup, you will need some bacon, I've gone for smoked bacon, you will need some ham, I've gone for smoked gammon, you will need an onion, the star of this dish, some yellow split peas, some celery and some carrots, followed by a pinch or two of salt and pepper to avoid the occurrence of bland food. And that, my friends, is all you will need for a brilliantly British London particular soup. But before you get started, before you do anything at all, switch on your kettle, brew yourself a nice cup of hot tea so that you can sip on that whilst you cook. To start making this iconic London dish, I'll first shore up and bind my smoked gammon joint as it tends to fall apart once cooked. Then in a deep stock pot will go black peppercorns, onions, carrots, celery, my bound joint of ham, followed by enough water to fully submerge the contents before bringing to a gentle rolling boil. Seeing as we're after a rich and clear ham stock, once at a gentle rolling boil, begin to skim the surface to remove impurities as you leave the contents to boil for three and a half hours. Three and a half hours later, plus additional time spent allowing the contents to cool down to room temperature, proceed by skimming the surface to remove congealed flakes of fat, following on by carefully removing the now tender gammon joint which it goes without saying has served its purpose but by no means should be discarded. And then after a quick stretch in a suitably sized bowl via a sieve, empty your pot to reveal your flavoursome ham stock. With the stock made to prepare the soup into a suitably sized oiled saucepan, begin to fry onions, diced celery and diced carrots with a pinch of salt along with a dash of water before allowing the contents to simmer under a lid over a medium heat until little to no liquid remains in the pan. After which, in will go your yellow split peas, followed by the long-awaited addition of your stock or liquid gold before turning the heat down to a medium-low level whilst allowing the contents to simmer for up to 20 minutes or until the peas tenderize. In the meantime, begin to ever so slowly fry bacon rashers over a low heat in order to yield the crispiest bronze bacon. To serve, following a ladle or two of soup and a few shards of crispy bacon, finish by garnishing with a drizzle of sour or fresh cream before admiring the now handsome plate of food before you. So now, with a London particular soup made and your appetites peaking, I think it's time for Tasting, tasting, tasting. Are you ready? Are you steady? Three, two, one. Mm. Mm. So, the bacon, I think it's very clear to me and hopefully to you at home that it is crisp really crisp perfectly cooked the long and slow way and it just adds to this soup 
because now we're actually going to speak about it. The soup has got a lovely texture to it. The peas themselves, once they touch your tongue, they hit your tongue, they just melt away. It's fantastic. They have this lovely creaminess to them. You've got the sweetness coming up in there, which is as a result of the uh, disintegrated, let's say, onions, celery. It's fantastic. Oh, and just honestly, the, the saltiness from the bacon actually complements the soup perfectly and lifts it because in a nutshell, this is a very simple, very easy soup to make. So look, with all that being said, with all that being said, waste no time, don't delay, go out to get the very simple and few ingredients to make this soup because it will definitely be worth it. Please, please, please make this bowl of London particular soup, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for allowing me to show you how to make a London particular soup. Knowing that you loved this episode, don't forget to click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button so that you don't miss any of our new releases. Tell everyone you know, and I mean everyone that you know, about the Brilliantly British Food on this channel, and follow us on all of the social media platforms that this channel is on, and I will see you 